Hey guys, I got something. I always say I got something unique to go over with you today, but I actually do have something pretty unique to go over with you today. This came as a request from us from our local fire department in Hammond, Louisiana. The guys at the Hammond Fire Department uh, have one of our boats and they use it for shallow water rescue within the city limits. Most of the time within the city limits and lots of times in rural areas as well, getting the boat down flooded highways and streets to people that can't get out is a problem because portions of the street are flooded, but then you may come to a high spot in the street and then have eight, nine feet of water on the other side and you can't get these heavier boats from one spot to the next. And you say, well, get a light boat. Light boats are terrible for that situation because they're real tipsy. They don't, they sag in the back end under the weight of a heavy mud motor, which you need in that situation. You can't be running an outboard motor down a blacktop highway and across people's yards. It's got to be able to kick up and move. And mud motors are heavy. You put them on the rear end of a lightweight flat boat that you can pick up and carry. And the boat sits like this and then it bounces and you know, it drafts too much in the rear end. So they use our boats for lots of reasons. Number one, they beat the snot out of them. I mean, in those types of emergency situations where Katie bar the door, let's get these people's lives saved. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna put these boats through the ringer, and this boat can stand up to that. It's also very stable, so when you're trying to take people over the side and rescue them out of water, the boat doesn't want to flip over. It's got a slick, smooth bottom. It's, uh, it's got longitudinal ribs to keep it from denting. All of the reasons that people buy Gator Tracks boats apply to rescue boats as well. Sometimes it's hard to get city budgets to pay a little bit more for the quality of the boat, but these guys were able to explain to them and show them the advantages of buying this boat one time. That being said, how do you move it when you run out of room on a blacktop road and you got a high spot and you can't pick this boat up and carry it 40, 50, 80, 100 yards to where the water drops back off again? This is the way that we came up with doing that. And basically what we did was we took 8,000 pound bully dog jacks and welded these double wheel polymer casters, 8 inch caster wheels to the bottom of them. And then we implemented their boat with a receiver hitch that was able to take these jacks and slide them in and out. And if you notice, the wheel, when the boat is all the way up, is above the bottom of the boat. So even if you run this boat completely out of water onto a black type highway, all you have to do is walk up here and take this jack and see one guy on this side, one guy on the other side. And I'm gonna show you this in a minute. Uh, we're gonna actually put it on concrete and jack it up and roll it around for you. but. Uh, you jack it down two at a time and then walk to the back and jack the two down and the boat will actually, you can push it with one hand on concrete, it'll even roll in gravel. Not going to roll through mud, not going to roll through soft spots, it's not made to go off road with, but that's not really what they're dealing with. Most of the time if they can just get from down the street to the person's house, that's all they require and this is going to do that for them. So. Um, this isn't a system that we can just sell as a kit you can put on your boat because Again, another problem with a flimsy, cheap, lightweight boat is it's not going to have the strength that this sidewall has or anything that you can see that we've done on the inside of this boat to beef this up to hold this kind of weight. It's just going to crumple the side in. So if you got a junk boat, it's not going to work for you. You're going to have to have a quality hull of some kind to be able to implement this. But if you do or you would like to have one, we have a system that I believe will work for you if you have these same type of shallow water rescue situations within city limits or at least in proximities to blacktop or even some gravel roads. So um, in a minute we're going to take it and put it on the floor, jack it up and show you how this thing works. Stick around. 